I took this big bag of lines to the washing machine, that's uh, a four quart washing machine thing, and um, it's got an 18 kilogram load, and it's done a wonderful job. This, this particular line was one of the ones that was really, really green, and look at it, it's absolutely gorgeous. So, now that the lines are back, the job is very simple, reinstall them all. So, I'm just going to cut these cable ties that we used to keep the plats intact. And then just going to undo that, pull the plat out and install the line. That's a lot of the jobs done. We've got a lot of the ropes and things back on the mast and um, <laughs> we've got a lot of stuff back in the mast so the ropes have become lines and sheets again which is nice. We've still got the jenny to do but it's a wee bit windy and so we have got the jenny sheets, jenny sheets threaded through all their blocks. Uh, I still have one jenny car to do on that side but unfortunately the sail's sitting on top of it so it's out for now. But yeah progress to be made. What do you think? Oh, I'm certainly wet enough. I got soaked doing it yesterday, so it's getting a turn today. Fairly unprotected where it is, but okay. It's easy to do an undo. You having fun, salty lass? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm doing a braid on braid splice. So, but with this is our practice rope um, because we always practice before we actually commit to the money. <laughs> The money, the money shot. And particularly when you haven't done one of these before. No, Beverly's done the uh, braid on braid splices, but this is my first attempt. So um, this is Beverly's. Um, so we're just practicing, and then um, we'll we'll uh, go for the money, but, as we say. But we're not doing a video on making braid because braid splices, because there's plenty of them on the net. No, but it's one of those many skills that you have to do, and. Um, when we did our, we, we went to a training, I did the three braid splice, which I have put on the net, whereas Beverly did this braid on braid, so that's why I'm learning it now. How's it going, girl? Beverly uh, <laughs> once described uh, braid on braid um, splicing as sort of like the work of the devil. I can understand why, because I've got the outside uh, braid through the inside core and you're now about to put the inside and now, core <laughs> and i'm now about to put the inside core through the outside braid and um and then some magic will happen and then some magic will happen so let's just see have if... you ever milked a kai <laughs> i have actually right well guess what you're gonna milk today you're gonna milk braid today i am but yes i have milked a cow Admittedly, that's good because it's going to come in handy. <laughs> Midly, um, I think I only did it about once or twice. Whereas my sister, 
is an expert milker of cows and milk my sister and my brother. But I only did it about once or twice because my chore on the farm was chickens. <laughs> Has to be said, the instructions in the splicing book have been rubbish, haven't they? Like steps missed out, in unclear diagrams. Yeah, Beverly's put a whole load of uh, extra notes for us. And um, I'm now sort of like pulling things through, but I know very well that I'm going to put some extra notes like here. Um, that chord and that chord are actually the same chord, whereas it looks like this one is. So I'm just putting the extra notes just to help us for next time. But this is going in now. You're milking this for all it's worth, aren't you? Of course I am. But there's just so many skills that you have to learn on a boat. Um, and this is just one of them, so... I'm just hoping to goodness I've got it right. You'll know soon enough. I certainly will. <laughs> okay, why did I win the splicing contest? Well, this is Beverly's splice and uh, it's got rope in here and it's got everything is the way it's supposed to be. Mine has not got any rope in there because it's here. <laughs> yeah, but to be fair, I sabotaged yours, didn't I? Yeah, you cut something off and I think you cut the wrong thing, but anyway... To cut a long story short, it doesn't look great, but that's why you practice. Yep. <laughs> and uh, now that we've got that, we've just got to put it on the real thing. Yep. So, still milking that rope for all it's worth. Well, my first one was a, a failure. So, Beverly got the job of doing the real splice. But my second attempt... Okay, fair enough, I've still got this bit to go. But yes, this is going to work. But boy, <laughs> I've got my sailing gloves on because I was losing bits of my balm. Well, Beverly and I are playing the ultimate boat game. That's the one where you move stuff from one place to another. So the back berth is now empty. Also, we can do the engine service. Oh joy! I know, what fun and games, but it's raining outside, so the engine service is a great job to get on with. What have you found, Gainer? I forgot we had these. These are uh, back of cupboards, um, and they just need, for the want of a screw, shall we say. Oh, so, we didn't put them up and we ran out of screws. Yeah, well, we can try and get that done. And if you need to make one, we've got w enough for one spare. One spare. So we'll get that out because we're going to have to have the drill out soon. Not the drill, the um, saw out. So It's going to be another little job, isn't it? Yeah, just another little job. Add to but... the list. Yeah, absolutely. Well, there's going to be a lot of running around and doing stuff and it's going to take us quite a while to do the engine service. I mean, it's not going to take all day, but it's going to take a while. So I think bacon buddies before we start, probably a good idea. So it's time for a spot of lunch before we do anything. <laughs> engine spares. Now the way that we do our engine spares, there's our spare anode, is um, we have, um, for instance, two oil filters. One to do the job and we still have a spare oil filter. Hang on, I'm about to fall over. Ah! That's, that's the bloody power supply! Similarly, I've got a, this is the coarse uh, diesel filter. But I also have, somewhere in here, another coarse diesel filter so that I can do the job but I still have spares um, if there's a, a problem later on. We're going to do the diesel filters first. Um, we, you've seen us um, change the diesel filters many a time but I've got a spare part here which is because uh, we're going to have a look at the exhaust elbow and um, if we need to sort that out and we will video that for you. Well we've done the diesel um, change now um, this time we changed the o-rings. We don't normally change the o-rings but one of them had a um, was getting very brittle so we've just changed those out 
um, but the diesel filters are so clean that what we've decided to do is mark them up as used and still put them back in the spares because if there is a diesel bug or something like that they're still usable so we're very happy with the way that these filters have come off they're but, still absolutely clean but we'll order up replacements and as soon as they come these used ones will go in the bin basically yes so um we'll still have two spares the good one and a used one and then as beverly says when we get um we order new spares that's when we'll get rid of them well the uh, engine service is done unfortunately we do have a diesel leak where we change the grommet and that's because the grommet that's taken we took off is marginally smaller than the grommet that we put on so um oh, we might have to put the old grommet back on but we'll see we'll get it sorted that's one thing for certain well we've had a delivery um from SVB who supply all the parts for Bavaria and things like that and they have sent us a holiday brochure it's not going to be a great deal of use to me because it is written in German a language I have very little knowledge of um, they've also sent us some brown paper more brown paper a deal for a chart plotter for only 399 euros and oh down at the bottom finally we have it a shower head ours broke ages ago the threads became brittle and i think it's this end here that one of the two ends broke off uh, just brittle from use but this is the replacement it costs a bomb it's like 50 quid um but we could have done without it i've got a wooden bung stuck up it at the minute which has worked but it's nice to have it because when you come off the dinghy and onto the boat this is really 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 useful because if you've got muck and dirt in your feet or sand or grit you can wash it all off if you've got wet yourself you can just give yourself um, a quick shower it's really useful to have this so I'm glad we've got it and I'm going to fit it right now it has a grommet in there taking great care not to drop this overboard because that would be bad True. Okay. Well, our reservoir project has uh, come to an end. It's uh, been a couple of days, but honest to goodness, we need to get rid of all this water. Oh I think it's going to be a while. Yep, but that bottom is absolutely filthy we're gonna get a laugh and we have a look at it well it's not as bad as i thought i think it was just the, all this slime here at the bottom that just made it look really bad well i have to say i really rate the uh, dinghy um cleaner because uh, salty sausage looks like new now.